Hi and welcome to my workshop. My name is Tomas and you're watching Kajiwai DIY. In today's episode we'll be making a very cool pendant. So stay tuned. If you follow my channel you know I've started a bit of uh, experimentation with epoxy and I've done a few videos about it. The first video was about a bracelet with a four leaf clover inside of it and um, I've got some leftovers from that project as you can see um, it's a glue up obviously uh, we've used a uh, hole saw to um, take out the bulk of material and I've got some leftovers like this. So as you know I hate waste of any kind Hence, I'm going to be using parts of this. So, in total, I've got four pieces like that, and I already took off a piece of walnut of one of those. I cleaned it up on my belt sander, and we'll be using this to create our pendant. If you want to find out how we can get to this stage, check out my other video. I'm going to link it up above and down below in the uh, description of this video. But now it's time to get this piece of walnut ready for pouring the epoxy in. Well, the preparation is very simple. We're just going to use some clear tape and make several layers of it just to make sure there's no leaks and that will be done. So for this particular project I'm going to be using a epoxy that comes in two parts, A and B. Sometimes it's very tricky to actually achieve a very good result with epoxy where there's no air bubbles and it mixes well. What I found that works best is actually to put the part A in warm water for a few minutes, as you can see I'm doing that right now. Um, probably about five to not more than ten minutes and then we'll be mixing um, parts A and B obviously during the mixing there's always a little bit of air bubbles that will come up um, try to mix it really really slowly that always helps to prevent uh, the air bubbles but if you do get some put them back in warm water and they will gather right at the top at that point you can just fish them out or you can actually just blow at them and they should disappear and as you can see at this point we're just mixing some pigments white and black for this particular project that's what I'm going for Before we move any forward, I just want to mention if you're not a subscriber and you're new to this channel, I do encourage you to subscribe to it as I do bring new content each week and that would mean you're not going to miss anything. So I hope you do, but let's carry on with the project. And now we're ready to pour uh, the epoxy into our mould. and we'll leave it to uh, cure for about 24 hours. So as you can see I've taken it out of the form and now it's time to sort it out a little bit on the sander. And now it's time for a bit of sanding. Uh, we're going to start with normal sandpaper 
from grid 200 right up to 400 then we're going to be doing some wet sanding with the pads that's going right up to uh, 1200 grid and then we're going to move on to the micro mesh that goes up to um, 12,000 Now I'm going to apply some scratch removing compound. Now I'm going to apply the buffing compound onto the pendant. I'm going to leave it for a few minutes and we'll buff it out on the buffing wheel. And there you have it guys, a really beautiful uh, pendant, two colours, white and black and obviously that beautiful walnut, absolutely gorgeous, um, very interesting design as you can see, um, it looks really really stunning and I think your good lady would be uh, quite impressed and pleased with a, with a gift like that. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did drop me that like button down below and if you got any question about the process of making this please make sure to drop me that comment down below but as always guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you on my next woodworking adventure till then take care